Hey, what up, Z Clan? How you doing? And everybody else, welcome to my 100% guaranteed to find outfit video. Now, today we're looking at the space suit and the space cap or whatever it's called. Uh, let me, yeah, space space suit helmet and space suit. Now, they are located 100% in the crashed space station, not far away from the Black Beer Lodge. That's where we found the beer hat, and pretty much on top of on top of the uh, world if you look right to at uh, the crocodile you just turn right and you find it right here right so uh, in order to get the space helmet and space suit you will need to uh, well basically pass this thing right here and come to C7 entrance but you will need a code and the keypad which is uh, 111 418 that's the code I'm not sure if it's gonna be the same for you but I'll show you where to get the code as well just in case and once you enter the code you come here you get the uh, this trunk thingy and then you can find pretty much a lot of spacesuits so usually there's more than uh, one so you get it now the spacesuit itself it's an outfit right but it doesn't really give a lot what I ha I'm not yet 100% certain because I found it the sec uh, these things I found it the second time. But I found also the damaged uh, hazmat suit as well, which is way better than the space suit. And it gives 500 radiation protection. And space suit doesn't. Uh, wait, hold on a second. So, yeah, uh, hazard not only prevents damage uh, and disease from airborne and waterborne but also the 500 protection from radiation right spacesuit doesn't do anything but it costs 300 caps so you can sell those and uh, the spacesuit helmet prevents damage disease from airborne hazards only right which means that spacesuit is pretty much nothing compared to the damage hazmat suit right but one thing here uh, damage hazmat suit will replace and take off all of your gear so you will have no protection whatsoever so the good thing about this thing is that most probably you can jump in the, your power armor I just don't use power armor so I'm not 100% certain but it makes perfect sense so you jump into your power armor and you have your protection plus you have your radiation protection right now I'll make a, I'll make a separate video of the damaged hazmat suit or uh, if I'll m basically have that 100% confirmed that you can find it in that location. Right now where we're gonna go I'm gonna show you where you get the code plus the suit because I found the suit right next to the code. <laughs> so uh, if you could do me a favor and if you can tell me and confirm that you found this suit this one right here I'm not talking the space one hazmat suit next to the code on your end please let me know so I can make a uh, one more video uh, where we will know that this is an 100% guarantee to find video because I'm trying to uh, in this playlist that you're watching right now to indicate only the 100% finds because have in mind uh, there are outfits that are randomized Plus, if you come and you don't see it, just reboot your server because someone else might have picked it up already before you did. Alright, so we got to the crash land, right? So it's right behind this crash space station and the location where you get spaces is right on behind this. So just in case on the map, but it should be really easy to find. So you look for some sort of like a, a crashed cabin or something, right? You walk up here and there's going to be a note. So here's the note. And here's the airlock C7 access code 111418. Now the spacesuit I found it over here. I just picked it up, so I'm not sure certain if it's 100% guaranteed over here. Mm -hmm. So guys, I hope this video uh, helped you out to find this thing. Basically, I'm more happier that I found the hazmat suit than the spacesuit. Gotta be t gotta be honest. So just one more thing before we end this video just wanted to invite you to my discord channel uh, I've uh, dedicated to Fallout 76 since this is the main game for the channel and I have created some audio chats where we can use it for team play uh, I've created some uh, text chats where we can talk about Fallout 76 share 
uh, your photos of Fallout 76. You can even share your videos of the Fallout 76 and Fallout 76 video section. <laughs> so, yep, come on, jump in right on board because this is my lucky build and I find a lot of legendaries. I'll be making a playlist uh, per month how many and what sort of legendaries I find. So, it's gonna go live most probably today as well since today is the last day of November and it's gonna be my first video <laughs> on all of the. Uh, legendaries that I found. I just need to edit it first. And uh, yeah, so uh, what I was talking about, the legendaries, since I don't have a lot of strength and uh, you know this weight problem, which is gonna be resolved soon, uh, it will be increased to 600 instead of 400, but I don't think it's gonna play a big difference. Uh, but anything is good, right? So I usually drop in the chat for the legendary giveaway if I don't need it and uh, I ask you guys who wants to get it sometimes since the community is still a little bit small uh, I end up dropping it in the noob location uh, where everybody spawns and a hundred percent visit is this place right here Flatwoods alright folks so you have a good morning day and night whatever you guys lock it at and don't forget to hit that like subscribe if you're new hit that bell to be notified and leave your comments down below because I'm always getting right back to you. Any feedback and suggestions about this channel for improvement, please let me know because I take those seriously. Negative, positive reviews are mm, the best. <laughs> Alright folks, you have a good morning, day and night, and I'll see you later. Bye.